OK, now it's over to Chef Mark, who's making a Thai-inspired dish. Have you got any little army men in your house? Uh, no, but I'm going to get some. I'm going to say do that. It's great, yeah. I should have a collection, really. <laughs> right, anyway, what are you doing today? Right, so we're going to do Thai basil chicken. Right, so we've got some chicken, which is just minced down, and basically it's just got all those beautiful, fragrant Thai flavours. Like the, yeah, we've got basil in there, mm. we've got some Vietnamese mint to give it a kick, garlic, ginger, fish yeah. sauce, soy, and we've got these little innocent chilies. They're not the raven ones you were talking about the other day. Are no, they? no, no, <laughs> no, not the reapers, but they're uh, the little reapers, bir bird's yes. eye chili, so nice a name, but nice. uh, it's pretty spicy. Good you like, Yeah, you like that. And then we're going to make some fantastic coconut rice as well to go with it. Fantastic. Okay, can't wait to get stuck into that. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, you're making a Thai basil chicken. So Thai basil, very different to just normal basil. Uh, yeah, a little bit different, but we had a bit of a problem getting it today, so we are just using normal basil, oh, which you can do. You know, okay. you can swap it out, and then for a bit more fragrance, we've got some Vietnamese mint as well. Oh, right, but so you're mixing all it those, up. Yeah, all those yeah. flavours are great, you know, kaffir lime in there, Yum. you know, coriander, anything you've got. It's all about, Thai cooking is all about sort of, you know, fragrance and salty and sweet. and right. It's going to be great, right? Okay, we'll, and let's just get into it then. Yeah, we'll get into it. Right, so first of all, we're going to make some uh, coconut rice, right? Coconut, coconut milk. milk. Yep. So this is an easy one. You like this? We just so cook cheap it. coconut milk. Yeah, and it's so good. it's so tasty as well, mm, and it just you know it just makes it a bit nicer from just normal rice. You know, yep. do some coconut rice. A little bit of water to loosen out the mix. Yes. Got a little pinch of sugar in there. Yep. Uh, a few chili flakes. Okay. Cheers you and your chili. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one today. A little bit of uh, turmeric in there as well, just a pinch. Oh, nice. That's in at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. A little bit of salt as well to season it, so we're getting a nice flavoured stock there. Oh, I'm loving this already. And then some basmati rice. Okay, cool. So, get that in. We're going to bring that up to just a low boil, or as it's starting to come up to a boil, we're going to turn it right down, we're going to pop a lid on it, and it'll probably take about 15, 18 minutes. And it'll just absorb all those flavours, and you let it sit, and then you can just fluff it with some... Um, well, just with a fork. Okay, and great. It's beautiful, fluffy coconut rice, mm. and it's going to be fantastic with our stir fry. Okay, cool. So while we wait for that to bring up to the boil, and then of course we're going to turn it down, we can prep some other bits and pieces. Yeah, so now we're going to make the stir fry. So we're going to do the base of it, uh, shallots. Yes. So just finely sliced. I'm going to cook that down with some garlic and some chilli. So I'm just going to slice and chop all that. We've just got a, a nice big pan uh, on there, or a wok. Yeah, it's heating up. And we're just heating it up. So we want to get some good heat in there before we start cooking. I'm quite excited about today, actually, because I love chicken. But, you know, I think I've tried every way I can eat chicken. So this is just another variation, which I'm sure I'm going to love. Well, hopefully. You like, you like spicy food? Yeah, well, actually, you know, I'm getting used to it. I am getting used to it. I think it's, I'm getting older. You see, my, my taste buds are slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> so I can handle it now. Right, you want to put some oil into the pan? Do I? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said no? Okay, get the old alpha one in there. Nice. Cool. That, that'll be enough, I'm sure. Do you want more? Yeah, no, 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 that's good. It's perfect amount, Mike. Good work. Right, so just so when we're nice and hot, yes. we're going to start stir frying. Okay. It's getting there. How do you know when the oil's hot enough? But you, if you stick your finger in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you'll see it, it'll become really loose. So if you just swirl it around a little bit. Yeah. And you can see that's a lot looser than it was oh, like it coming out the bottle. True. Yeah. And then if you if you you know you wave your hand over it, you'll stop feeling the heat. Right. And <laughs> if you've got some smoke as well, then you know it's getting pretty hot. So I reckon that's pretty good now. So just right. remember me on the dance floor, because when I start moving around a bit, you know I'm getting loose. <laughs> so okay. Okay. No, she's loose now. <laughs> oh, and our rice is bubbling. So can we just turn it down. Yeah, yeah. Turn it. Turn it right down. Get the lid on. Okay. Cool. And then get the timer on. Okay. Sweet. Turn right. Okay. So in. Um, in that pot now. Oh yeah, that's Garlic good. Garlic in sizzle. there. Yeah, that's it. Sizzle. That's what you want. So we're stir frying. So here's a little spoon for you. I'm just gonna put the lid on there. And okay. and you know, just start stir frying it. Yep. Just gonna put a touch of salt just to help those uh, shallots break down <coughs> and get some flavour. Oh yeah, and I and I will warn you as well. If you stir fry in these really hot chilies like we are today, once it hits the oil. And then sort of, um, you know, heat up. Those Boom. fumes come out. Boom and, you in know, the face. It does get you in the back of the throat. But Woo. it's good. It's going to be some great flavour in there. You know, it smells good. Now, see the shallots are still, you know, I need to break them up a little bit. Yeah, so just, just a little bit. Yeah, they're nice okay, and finely cool. sliced, so they're not going to take long, you know, to, to start cooking. Okay, but cool. nice hot pan and keep oh, it on gosh. the go so you're not going to burn anything. Yeah, no, you're right. You've okay. got to keep it on the go. Yeah, yeah. you've got to work out there. Yeah, you no, don't you're need right. to go to Jets. <laughs> All right, so I'm now going to get the chicken in there. Okay. And just keep stir frying this now. So you want to break okay. all the chicken down and we'll just keep cooking it. All those ingredients will mix in. And then once the chicken's 
a little bit more cooked and broken down, we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. Brilliant, okay, well I'll keep cooking there. Now though, Mark, where are we up to with this chicken? Because I think this is looking good. I've broken it down, I can smell all those fragrant flavours, and it's cooking nicely. Yeah, no, that's it, you're doing a great job, yeah? So that's, that's what you want to do. Yep. Yeah, keep moving it, keep cooking it. Obviously it's chicken, so you want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. Nice. You know, it's, it's sort of quite sort of uh, finely ground, so we really do want to cook it, but then we've got some liquids which we are going to put in after, so that's going to uh, get some flavour into it and keep it moist. Nice. Okay, right, we'll cool. just check our rice, give it a little stir. There you go, it's beautiful. Look at that colour from the turmeric. Lid back on and then we'll still c carry on cooking that till it's ready. Right, I've got a little bit of ginger now. Okay. So just a nice little fine dice of ginger. I'm going to pop that in. Mm. And then we're going to start adding some liquids in. So you can see how fast this recipe is. Yeah, it's good too. You know, so ideally get the rice on first, that can be cooking, you can make your chicken, that's ready, the rice is ready, and then you can eat it. Brilliant. I love that. Quick and easy, and of course get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. And hey, if you're outside of Auckland, and you're ever in Auckland looking for a great restaurant to go to, go and check out Mark's Restaurant, O'Connell Street Bistro. It is one of the top-notch places in Auckland. No. You like it, don't you? I do like You're it. You're always there. <laughs> Very Usually just sitting outside having a beer. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just put a little bit of sugar in there, just for some sweetness. Got a touch of chicken stock as well for some liquid in there, some soy sauce, and some fish sauce as well for Jeez. seasoning, so it's nice and salty. That is smelling so good. Okay, I'll so keep working all those it. flavors. So we can just turn it down now, and we just want that sauce to sort of, you know, go into the chicken and keep it nice and moist, you know? It okay. doesn't want to be runny, so you are going to sort of like cook it into the chicken. Okay, cool. Right, rice is there. We've got some almonds to finish off the rice and just give us a bit of texture on the dish. And then we've got this Vietnamese um, mint. So this is great. Have you tried this before? No, is it hard so to try find? So I tried uh, Good Asian supermarkets have it, you know, and it's uh, even normal supermarkets now have it, you know, it's becoming quite popular. Yeah, no, it's good. It's kind of a, a spicy mint, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit mm. spicy. It's quite savoury, you know. It's not It's not like the sweet mint what you yes. used to. Yeah, so it's quite nice. So put, Wouldn't uh, you know, put it in a mojito. Put, no, no. Well, actually, you, you know, you ruin it. <laughs> and, you know, so really nice in this uh, Thai cooking or Vietnamese cooking. And then just some nice normal sweet basil. Um, and that's going to go in, so I'm just going to chop that, you know, a good handful of each and just give it a nice chop and then that's going to go through last minute. So we're putting that in this chicken yep. or in the rice, no? No, 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 we're going to put it in the chicken. Okay, lovely. So look at that, so all the liquid sort of nearly cooked off now. So another minute of cooking or so, just before you serve, all the basil goes in so it releases all that fragrance. Pop the um, coconut rice onto the plate and scatter with some almonds, that's it. Nice and quick. Boom. I love it. I tell you what, just can I have a quick look at this rice? Yeah, oh, don't, oh, don't take the lid off. Oh, quick. don't take the lid off. <laughs> don't know, have a look. Ruined it! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, can't wait to try this a little later on, which we will do towards the end of the show where Mark plates it up. And I tell you what, good food. It smells incredible. Oh, yeah, that's great. Looks Knocks amazing. <laughs>